Uh, I'm going to explain how to work with LT Spice properly. Uh, we have nine tasks to perform. And first of all, how to use voltage and current proofs. Uh, to measure the voltage across an element and a current through an element. To measure the voltage, you can simply click on of the com on side of the components and then drag into the opposite side of the components and you can see the voltage across this voltage source uh, to measure the current you can simply click one of these three elements in this case we have an inductor a capacitor and a resistor if I click and left click and I now I can see the current and to add and remove traces you can simply right click one of the uh, symbol of the element and you can just delete left click delete button and to add you can simply click one of the element now you can see the current through register or uh, to change axis scales you can simply left click and then choose one of the choose one of the blanks you want to change and you can simply change the scale 636 to 50 and left click ok now you can see uh, the changed range of the y-axis you can do the same thing for x-axis now we can change the range from 10 to 40 kilohertz yeah. to measure with cursors uh, we can simply left click one of the elements and we can measure uh, the magnitude phase and group delay and if you want different point measurements you can just left click and drag left or right and you can see the magnitude changed and to zoom in and zoom out or you can simply left click and then drag and you can see the change if you wanna cancel this operation you click zoom back or zoom full extends okay another thing you can do in LT Spice is add together currents and voltages so if you go to add trace and then click on one of the voltages or er, currents here and then go down to the expressions add in a plus sign click on a another current and then OK what you get is a the addition of these two currents in the red you can also change the colors of all the traces by right clicking and going down to default color and clicking on whatever color you want to change it to and then click OK. To save this trace as an image, click on the trace, control C to copy, then you can go into paint, paste it with control V, and then go to save as, and you can save it as a bitmap or a JPEG to save it as an image.